Welcome back to Nightly Nerds. I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we're playing. Uh, Nosferatu. Nosferatu. So Dracula, but not copyright in Dracula. You know, that's why that's, that's why there's a Nosferatu. Yeah. They made the movie and they couldn't call it Dracula because they didn't have the rights to Dracula. Oh, yeah. Totally. He just jumps right into it. Yeah. Boom. So you can fight them, but you don't need to. You gotta be like in the right position. There you go. I think you can make that without having to run and jump. Yeah, you like activate your like combat mode and you gotta hit it again to come out of combat mode. Or something. There we go. I'm trying to get, get the controls down. Woo. So if you hit up right there, I think you jump up like right at the edge of it. Maybe, oh, maybe not. There it is. Yeah, it's totally got that uh, flashback. Prince of Persia. Ooh. I think it's up to interact. Um, but there's a timer. That's the kicker. So I, I played this a little bit when I was testing it out. I was like, oh, I like this game, but I don't like the timer part of it. You can go into that cell, yeah. I think there's a chest in here. But it's... I don't know, I like it. What do you oh, think so far? It's life crystals. This is actually pretty fun. Yeah. I think, the, I think the only down... I mean, maybe it's not a downside, but that's how I see it as. There's kind of a puzzle thing to this. You gotta like kind of figure out where to go and stuff. But it's got this timer. That makes me feel like it was an arcade game. Maybe. I, I could be wrong. It's very possible. Uh-oh. Got a zambi. Like, I'm not even gonna fight you. <laughs> there's, no, there's no point if I can just knock them down and run away. Yeah. If they dropped things, then yeah. Yeah. yeah it gave me more time, I think. No, that was the... So you gotta... So you gotta... You gotta run. I had to be while to figure this out. You have to run, duck, and, and attack at the same time you slide. He said duck and attack? Yeah. Now, so question. you do like a slide tick, slide kick. So you gotta run and then hit down and attack. Boom. Took me a while to figure that one out. This part is annoying because you have to kind of run through this or you it, it, it just kills you. Oh, wow. But if you continue, you'll start at the beginning of this level. Eh, I'm okay with it. And I have a better control of where I, where, where where my climbing yeah. positions are. So right there. Nope. Right there. I like these kind of games. He will hurt you, so you might want to jump over him or something. There you go. Ah! See, he knocks the crystals out of you. I don't know what that does, though. I think it's your life. Or if you have so many crystals, you get bonus life or something. Cause I know the one, the one blue crystal in here gives Gave me you like, like a half, half, a, half, half health, a, yeah. Half a life thing. But the other crystals just are crystals. I'm not sure what they're used for. So I played around with this a little bit. I do like that that correlates where they are. Like the guy asked those where they were at before you went through the doors where they were at yeah. when you came through. A lot of games like, especially this time period, wouldn't do that. And this one gives you more time. The run, the run is clunkier. Yeah, than, yeah, it's kind of hard to stop back. it and and to start it too. Yeah, no, I agree with you. It's like a double dash, right? Kind of, but sometimes it's like just holding it. Sometimes runs. Yeah, I think it'd be better if it was uh, like a hold, hit a button to run. You know, like use one of the bumpers or something. Yeah. I remember I was thinking that when I was playing it. Because you have to time this so you can run through, but then you have to stop and then run again to get to the next one because they're back to back. I died here so many times. Because it wouldn't run right here. 
I get one closer before I started, but yeah, I died there so many times it was ridiculous. And there's gonna be parts later on where like a guy will like slap, come down and slap you in the face like a monster from above, or like arms will try to grab you. Those sections you just gotta run through. Okay. You can't fight your way or walk your way through slowly. That makes sense. And I learned that the hard way because I died a bunch. That's where the game can be frustrating. Actually. So if you go up, you have to run through that. Oh, nice. I do like how they don't hit you just because they're there, too. Like they don't have like collision damage. They actually have to attack you. That, so I was playing Blackthorn, which is a similar style to this. See, if you went across oh. the top, you'd have to do the run thing I was telling you. You wouldn't have to fight these guys, though. Oh, Ooh. red crystal. You gotta hit down on it. Makes sense. So, like, in Blackthorn, um, it's very similar to this as well in Flashback. It's got that same style. Ooh. Um, but you don't have that little... I don't know if you can knock him out. Oh, maybe you can. Oh, you can. He, he fucked me up. So I'd be like fighting him and he would just knock me down every time. Maybe you're on the edge of his root or something. It's an interesting game though, right? Oh my goodness, the controls. Not as if anyone's ever seen is a decent movie too. It is it's too. It's not very long if you want to watch a decent short, a silent film from back in the day. I'd recommend Nosferatu. It's still creepy. Even with his dated effects and horror themes. So what do you think? You like this I, game? I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I'm enjoying I mean, watching you enjoy it. Granted, I, I freaking love flashback in those type games. Yeah. Again, my biggest complaint is the timer. Because you kind of want to explore and solve a puzzle, and then the added, if the added timer is like, oh shit, now I have to worry about running out of time, when I have no idea what I'm doing anyways. Yeah. Which makes me feel like arcade, that way you're forced to eat, feed quarters into it. And you have to play at the level before you can figure out what you have to do, therefore you have to put another quarter in. So you gotta run. You can't fight those. Ooh, green crystal. I know what that did. Nice. <laughs> that was my favorite thing to do in flashback when I was bored. Just run into the wall? Well, just do a running jump off of a short ledge that slammed you into a wall. You got a boss fight coming up here. All kinds of crystals. Maybe those are maybe maybe making you more powerful. I have no idea. Where they're worth bonus points, you can get to the end with them. So now we have to fight the werewolf. So he does a jump thing. Whenever he jumps, just get away from him. And other than that, you've got him. Oh, you're doing good. I mean, you're hurt, but you ready to duck? Yeah, you've got the cycle. It took me a second to figure out that little cycle, but it works. Well, that's like this like dodge is actually pretty nice. Yeah. Now he's where so th at this point, I think it's just like run and slam into him and then punch him. That's what I figured out. If he, if he gets you in a loop, but you've got him in a loop, so. No mercy. Just punch that werewolf in the nose. Oh, he regained his life. I think you're in a bad spot now. I can't tell. Boosh, one more time. Boosh. <laughs> you wrecked him, son. Then they wreck him. Man, you're rolling through this game. I'm enjoying watching you play. Stage one, clear. Like, it feels like an arcade game. Yeah. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's clunky, but it's pretty fun. Like, it's the kind of game that I could see, like, uh, take the assets of this game and just fix it a little bit. Like, maybe make the run, like, a... Make, make the... Make the... Uh, run the, the right movement. trigger or something, right? The right bumper. Movement and button interaction a little more... Smooth. Smoother, like, less input delay. Yes. Uh oh.
<laughs> Got him. Trying to... Trying to what? I'll get the dash down. No, there was... It, there's a roundhouse kick. Is there an input for it or is it just random? I think it's. I think there's an input for it. I was trying to figure it out. I hate this guy. He just knocks the crystals out of you. You can defeat him, but... Once he starts dashing at you... Hey, you get caught in a loop. And he'll just keep coming. I had this happen to me. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna kill him when we get right on the edge of his his uh his past, you can beat him up. Punk. There we go. So I'm not getting like the right amount of run distance. Yeah. Woo! You know, you know, okay. So as much as I I, I love these kind of games, and I know people are like doing lots of things to bank on different uh, uh, SEOs and whatnot. Uh-huh. Imagine a Stranger Things game like this. There is a Stranger Things game I thought about picking up for Halloween. Oh, I know I know there is, but imagine like... Yeah. Where you, you kind of... You Side-scrolling puzzle. Just like this. Yeah. You, you play all the different what is this, characters. What, what is this genre called? Prince of Persia. Is it Prince of Persia? I... I, I know it's an. Whenever I see this, I think of Prince of Persia and, and flashback. Because Prince of Persia Two is the one that started it. I can't get the, can't get the slide kick. There we go. Got it that time. Because I know it falls under the adventure genre. Because like Castlevania and Hollow Knight, no, there's all and Metroid. Metroidvania. They're Metroidvanias, right? Yeah. And then like you got your Contras. What are those? Shoot 'em ups. Shoot 'em ups. And you've got your Bullet Hells, which are the jet fighter uh, space thingy, whatever, yep, fighting yep. tons of with bullets everywhere. Oh, got another. At least he just knocks me over. It doesn't kill me. I, yeah, that is the biggest the thing that bugs me. Yeah, the, the animations of the running and jumping are usually rotoscoped in these. Which is why they look so real. I wouldn't mind playing the remake they did. They released on uh, Xbox Arcade. Oh, Flashback? Yeah, the, the yeah. remake they did of it. From what I hear, it's actually, uh, it controls worse. Oh, well then we'll play the original. Like, I think Genesis had the best. Had the best controls, it just didn't have the best controller in my opinion for the game. Run! And I died. Alright. That'll All end right. it. That'll end this episode of Nightly Nerds. As always, I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.